one of the things we were asked to add in in order to make the review process even easier is the ability to burn in text directly over Hero's rendered images. So in 1.5 we've done exactly that. And to show you I've got some shots selected down here on my timeline. I'm going to right click these guys and go to export. Of course you can command shift and E to get that there. I'm going to process these as a sequence which will put all of those shots together into a single outputted file which in this case is going to be an Apple ProRes 422 movie file. Now at the bottom of my properties here for my transcode exporter, if you zoom down, we now have this burn in gizmo option and that's currently checked on as you can see. I'm going to hit the edit button next to it and inside of here we can choose a lot of options for our burned in text. Now the important thing are these drop downs which allow you to choose the tokens or the information that you want to burn into the top left, right and middle and the bottom left, right and middle of your image. So currently we have sequence, clip, shot, track, project and time code in here. So you can then click OK and come down to export to start that process. Now instead of sitting here and watching the transcode happen, I've actually already done this. So let's have a quick look at this file and we can see the results of our burn-ins. So here we go, I'm going to pause that quickly and what you can see is that in here we have the clip name, the sequence name, the shot name, the track name, the project name and finally the time code for all of those rendered images. And you can see everything's changing and updating nicely as we go through it. So that is the brand new burning gizmo feature for Hero 1.5.